This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and welcome to episode 14 of my Mac Pro series, which coincidentally I filmed after episode 15, and you'll see why when you see that one. Anyway, welcome to this episode, and in today's episode, I will be showing you how to install Boot Camp 6 onto an unsupported Mac. This will also apply to Boot Camp 5 and Boot Camp 4 64 bit install. Boot Camp 4 was the last Boot Camp to support both 64 bit and 32 bit installs. Boot Camp 5 was the first one to only support 64 bit. And in Boot Camp 4, it supported Windows 7 and I believe Windows Vista. In Boot Camp 5, it supported Windows 7 and Windows 8. And in Boot Camp 6, it supports Windows 8 and Windows 10. Since Apple says what Windows is supported on what Mac, only that Boot Camp will work on that Mac. For instance, my early 2009 MacBook and my Mac Pro 2.1 only supports 32-bit Windows 7, according to Apple. And as you've watched in my last episodes, that is not the case. They 100% support 64-bit and run great with them. To get the newest boot camp to work, you have to play around with it a bit. And I will be showing you how to do that. First off, if you're doing what I'm doing and doing Boot Camp 6, you either have to download it from a supported Mac or find it online. Apple is still supplying downloads for Boot Camp 5 online on their website, but Boot Camp 6 has been made private. You cannot download it from their website. You can only download it from a supported Mac or through other ways, which includes well, I'm not going to tell you how to do it, but it starts with a T and ends with rent. Just a, a little hint there. <laughs> anyway, so to install Boot Camp 6, we have to play around with it. Because when we open up our downloaded file and hit Setup, we will get this message. This version of Boot Camp is not intended for this computer model. Apple thinks there's no way you can get around this, but in fact, it's actually very easy to do this. So first off, if you manage to get your hands on a copy of Boot Camp 6 from the way that I mentioned that's not from a supported Mac, it's probably the first version of Boot Camp 6. Boot Camp 6 is a little problem with the real tech drivers right here. It will freeze up on them and you'll probably not need them anyway. If you do, like I said earlier, as long as you have your Boot Camp 4 or 5 files that were downloaded when you did your Boot Camp setup, you'll be fine. So, we need to delete this folder, and then we shouldn't have a problem. I've already installed my NVIDIA driver, so I don't need this one either. Okay, so how do we do this? We'll go back to the main folder and I'll start from there. We go to Drivers and then to Apple. Right here is the main installer. The thing is, it will not open because when we click on it, it will do this. This installation requires elevated privileges. Launch the installer through the setup EXE. Well, we just did that, and it said it wasn't supported. So how do we bypass that? Well, we have to set it up through administration elevated privileges. To do that, we need to open a command prompt with administration rights. We need to find command prompt by typing in cmd. Then we right click on here 
and click Run as Administrator. You click Yes. And now we need to click here, right click, and copy this address. And then we need to take it over here and type in CD space and then paste that in and hit enter. Now we're in here. The only thing now that we have to do is type in bootcamp dot msi and hit enter. And the bootcamp installer has opened. Now we just click next click accept and it starts installing and I will come back to it after it has completed. Okay the installer has now completed. We click finish and now we need to restart our Mac. Okay the computer has now restarted. If we go down here Here's the boot camp. We can go to boot camp control panel. And here's the control panel. Now, we are not done yet. We now need to install our drivers that boot camp 6 did not install. First off, before I continue, in rare cases, boot camp 4 computers may be missing some files that they need because Boot Camp 4 doesn't have them. My early 2009 MacBook needed trackpad drivers that weren't included in Boot Camp 4 and I had to go around until I found a copy of Boot Camp 3 files to get the driver to make it work. The Boot Camp 3 drivers, even though they are Vista drivers, work fine in Windows 10 and also work fine with Boot Camp 6's control panel. Anyway, so let's continue. First off, I know for a fact that Windows thinks it has installed the audio drivers that I need for my Mac Pro. It didn't. This Mac Pro needs Realtek audio drivers. We go into our Boot Camp 4 files and go to Drivers, and then go to Realtek, and click on Realtek Setup. We click Yes, and it starts installing the drivers. Now it will ask you if you want to restart your computer. I don't want to yet because I still need drivers. We click finish. Now we need to go to device manager and figure out the devices that still need drivers. In this case it would be my Bluetooth host controller. We right click on it and go to properties. We're only doing this because some drivers just will not install even when you do the installer. So now we need a program called 7-Zip installed onto the computer. All right, we are on 7-Zip's website, which I can leave a link to this in the description if you want it. You may not need 7-Zip if all your drivers install automatically, but anyway, we will want to download the version for 64-bit if you're running 64-bit Windows. We click download. It downloads and then you install it like anything else and I will get back to this video when I am finished with that. Okay so now that 7-zip is installed we need to go and force install our drivers. We need to go to our older boot camp files Go to Drivers, Apple, X64 if you're in Boot Camp 4. Then we right click on 
the file on the installer we need, go to 7-zip and hit Extract To. It extracts, and here are our files. Now we need to go over, click Driver, Update Driver, Browse My Computer, Pick from a List, Next, have disk, browse, go to the location where your boot camp files are, in my case it's desktop, Windows support, drivers, Apple, x64, and then click on this. We hit open and click OK. Now we have the built-in Bluetooth, we hit next it warns us that it may not be compatible. We still do it anyway. We click yes. And it installs the software. It has installed it. And now when we check here, the drivers are installed. And here it is. So, once that is all finished, we can now see if everything works in our boot camp install. Everything looks great. And if we play with our volume controls on the keyboard, that works. The eject button works. Everything works. And that's how you install Boot Camp on your unsupported Mac. One last thing I forgot to mention. Every time Windows 10 does a major update, aka it basically updates to a new version of Windows 10, you may have to reinstall your Boot Camp, which is just as easy as following the steps before. In the next video, I will be showing you how to get around having two video cards one supported and one not supported from the same graphics company. Anyway, thank you for watching and this has been a Red K Mods video.